there's two steps uh, in drying for inks. There's setting and drying. And right away, an ink, once it's on paper, will start to set. Uh, and there's different types of inks, and they will both dry differently. This ink I'm using technically does not dry. It, it absorbs into ink. I mean, absorbs into paper and sets inside the paper. Um, inks that are oil-based dry through oxidation, so there's a part of the chemistry of the ink that uh, goes into the air and disappears. Um, that sheet, there's so little ink on the sheet as well that it feels dry to the touch. If it was a solid, say, uh, uh, 20 pica capital letter bold, it would need a lot more ink and would need more drying time. So that you'd probably be able to smudge really easy. Because those, these halftone drawings are, are just like, there's just small tiny dots worth of, uh, worth of impression. So not much ink is needed at all. This is, um, this product is a Vanson rubber based ink. It's uh, a letter press ink and an offset press ink. It's uh, designed for small presses. Inks are also made for certain size presses, like high speed versus slower um, presses. It's a tacky paste ink, like it won't pour out. That's an important property of a letter press ink, that it's, that it's uh, quite tacky. It's not screen printing ink. Like if you were to use something like that, it would just pour off the type and fly off the spinning rollers and stuff like that. So controlling tack is an important um, part of good, and good quality printing. And when the ink comes straight out of the can, it's, it's really pa pasty, it's really hard, so you have, to, you have to work up the ink. So to add ink to this press, it's just a matter of dabbing small bits to this vibrating cylinder. And then the press is just going to distribute that and work up all the ink. And it's further milling the ink. That's a really important. All the ink has to be removed with solvents. And going from, you can imagine the troubles of going from a dark color to a light color. Because the nature of ink is that it's a, it's a paste that is packed with pigments. Just ram packed with pigments. So if you have residue of this brown or say black on the sides of your rollers or in little um, uh, little crevices that have been created in the rollers from being cut by rules or whatever, that black is going to start to destroy a bright color. Like if you put a yellow on, it's going to start to affect that color. So good wash up is necessary. A real wash up between colors would be you take all your, in this case, brown off with uh, a slow evaporating solvent, then put a fast evaporating solvent after you've cleaned all that. Then you put white ink on the press. Uh, run up the white ink, so it's as if you're going to print a job in white. Then clean all your white off, and then put your yellow or your white or anything else on. Big print shops, they'd have doubles of the rollers. So you'd have your color rollers, or your bright rollers, and your dark rollers. So that kind of makes made stuff easy. 